This is a soda bottle. Once it contains high pressure lemonade, we're going to fill it, fill it full of high pressure air. Using the tyre valve at this end, fitted neatly into a hole, the same size as the hole in your car's wheels. At the other end, we've drilled a hole in the bottle cap and replace it with a piece of standard sellotape, the thin cellophane tape. That's protecting us from overpressurizing it. If we overpressurize it, that piece of very thin tape will break before this bottle. So it's a safe way of storing compressed air. We're now going to use that compressed air to show Newton's third law. Action equals reaction. We're going to do that by taking this tube here as a T-piece. We'll connect our compressed air onto that arm of the T like so and we're then going to put two projectiles here so this is a system particularly useful in the situation where you're being pursued by two people coming from opposite directions you can shoot the two simultaneously here are our projectiles a small one which we're going to use in the long tube that's going to be the high speed projectile and it goes back to this point here and then we want to put another projectile, a larger one, in the other end. we we'll just shove that up there with a wooden stick. And we're ready to go. Here we have a needle. We're going to pierce that bursting disc, the protective disc, remember, releasing the compressed air, driving the two projectiles in opposite directions simultaneously. Three, two, one, go! This is where the carrot came through. As you can see, we didn't take any chances. Behind the cardboard box, triple thickness cardboard, we had, of course, a one-inch piece of wood.